The show Floating Memory looks at four types of memory, personal, ancestral, cultural, and mythic. And within the show, I have floating boats, paddles, articles of clothing, and paintings. This boat focuses on the changing aspects of family values within America by exploring the effects of consumerism, which suggest that family values have turned into a commodity. This boat casts a shadow reflection of corn embedded with mass-produced toys that are found within commercial cereals and fast foods marketed toward children. Great Lakes looks at the effects of water pollution on the aquatic life that resides within it as well as to humans who both consume the fish and create the pollution. The shadow beneath Great Lakes contains smooth lake rocks, beach glass, shells, and sand. Scattered on top of this is beach trash found along a half-mile stretch of Lake Michigan. This boat looks at seminal aspects and meanings of friendship over the past 200 years. The shadow reflection is made of six inch squares of discarded fabric, a few six inch squares with AOL Instant Messages logo, and a dozen cell phones. Tossed on top are Instamatic Polaroids of friends who have attended the show. The focus of the boat ownership is on the European-American notion of owning or possessing the land. Ribbons of words and animal spirits on the boat question the effect this possession has had on species that are becoming extinct due to the loss of their natural habitat. The shadow reflection is a mound of rich dark brown earth and coiled barbed wire that has caught tufts of animal fur. This boat and its accompanying paintings look at violence in our culture today. The boat specifically references the terrorist attacks on September 11th and the aftermath. The shadow is composed of shreds of evidence, layers of newspaper articles covering these terrorist attacks. The evidence is then impregnated with a layer of wax and okra. Laying on top of this layer is a figure covered in a shroud the shroud is made of stained muslin and images of the broken bones of a skeleton, which are sewn onto it. The paddle as an object is metaphorically used to guide us through the river of life. I have chosen paddle forms that are considered women's paddles. Notice the broomstick handle and the slender pointed blade, both aspects designed to guide the direction of the boat rather than propel it forward. These paddles embody mythic elements found in cultures around the world. For example, the snake symbolically represents vitality and continuity of life. It is seen as earthbound. The bird, on the other hand, represents the archetypal release of spirit and is symbolic of the release of spirit from the physical bondage to the earth. Thus, the encounter of the snake and the bird portrays the cycle of life, death, and rebirth and the conflict of earthly and spiritual desires.
I lost my mother last November. To console my grief, I began working with images of my mother and articles of her clothing. I wanted to hold her in my hands and smell her fragrance that lingered in her clothes. As I began to stitch her images onto her clothing, I found myself stitching counterclockwise, perhaps in my unconscious attempt to turn back the hands of time. With each stitch, I reached back into my mom's memories and linked them with my own. Holding her dearly within my heart, I pieced together fragments of her life sewn together with my memory of her. Weaving the threads of her life together with my own, I pieced together a life remembered.